God. And April Fools, everybody. <laughs> Have a happy April Fools, everybody, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, brilliant! So, yeah, everybody listening to this, um, it's me, Antonio, with HawaiiHypnosis.org, and I've got my friend uh, Michael Perez, an awesome Milton Erickson impersonator. How did you um, get to a point where you could um, you could mimic his voice? Was it just a lot of uh, practice? Well, the thing is, is that it was a lot of sitting down, listening to Erickson and, uh, you know, and, and then basically soaking that stuff in like a sponge, not making any judgments about it, not making any analysis of it, putting aside all the shit that I had heard about what he supposedly was doing and just, you know, treating it like I was. You know, like I was like an alien from outer space or I was like a baby or whatever, you know, just pretending I don't know anything about this man. And the and I'm just going to sit and listen. I'm not going to make any judgments and going into a state of consciousness, because, you know, the thing is, we're always trying to, 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 to form patterns. There are certain states of consciousness where you don't do this. So understanding what the configuration of a state of consciousness where you don't do that is like for you. And then going into that place, a place where you're soaking it all in, but you're not uh, consciously doing the stuff, right? So, so the thing is, is it's, I, I went ahead and and I uh, and you know, and I, I spent a long, long, long time uh, with the material, going over it over and over again, and then at some point, I felt like. I could, I, like, it was almost like it was coming out of me to do the thing that I had been exposing myself to. And, you know, I don't know, I, I imagine that you're sitting down watching somebody play basketball, you know, and you're just, you're, you're out there and, and, and you just, after a while, you feel the urge to grab the ball and play because you feel like you could do that. Okay, so that, that was essentially it. I, I just, you know, I soaked it in. Again, the, the, the real trick is if you've never played basketball before in your life, even if you feel that urge, you're not going to be able to play basketball. But since what Erickson was doing was talking and having conversations, and since that was something that I'd done all my life, then it was easy enough. So, so then it was just a matter of you know just deciding that I was going to do everything rather than leaving anything out. So the first thing was is that, you know for example, uh, Erickson couldn't breathe very well and so I had to find a place where my breathing was shorter now, Erickson's physiology was also in a way that he moved differently you know he, he couldn't sit straight exactly right he leaned off to the side a little bit and so breathing the way that he breathed with a certain shortness of breath holding my body in this way also meant that it was rasping against my throat. Now, once I started talking this way and I had to pause to breathe at a certain rhythm, 
because I couldn't breathe very deeply and there was a certain rasp in my voice, then I had to think about some of the ways in which he would hold his mouth because his mouth could not hold his false teeth. So his mouth was shaped differently to the way that most people hold their mouths. And then, and again, this was not my doing the analysis. The analysis came later. But I began to think about the way that his accent worked and how he had an accent that sounded a certain way. And I just noticed myself talking in that way. And it was very natural. And I started to notice that there was a certain way that he spoke a certain kind of music to the way that he spoke. And when I began to realize that all of these things came together in a way that allowed me to operate very similar to the way that Dr. Erickson would operate, when I began to have this experience of breathing this way and holding my mouth this way and allowing myself to know and to understand exactly the way that Milton Erickson might know and understand something in the way that he talked and in the way that he interacted with the people in his world, then I found that it became very easy for me to help people to learn, really learn how to go into a very deep place now where you can understand something new about how you can go into a trance very easily. That's right. So that basically was like that. <laughs> that was that was that was pretty amazing. Yeah. But it's just, you know, it's about making those subtle distinctions, you know. And now, again, I didn't do the analytical process. I wasn't sitting there going, oh, couldn't, you know, didn't have his false teeth in. Oh, couldn't breathe because two-thirds of his diaphragm wasn't working. That stuff was, was not what was, you know, that analytical process came later. I just had to start doing it. And then after I was doing it, then I could analyze what it was, you know, because now I was doing it personally. See, I can't go in. Uh, the thing about you, Antonio is that you've got a brain and I've got a brain, right? Yep. And your brain is not my brain, <laughs> and my brain is not your brain. So if I want to analyze something deep in your brain, I cannot do it because I don't have your brain. It's not in my head. What I can do, though, is I can, is I can use all these deep neurological methods that we have for connecting with one another at a very deep level, and I can use that as a, a, as a way of reproducing what you're doing on an instinctive level inside myself. And then I can ask myself, am I getting the results that Antonio is getting when I act the way Antonio is acting? When the answer is yes, it really doesn't matter if what I'm doing is exactly what you're doing. It's close enough that it's getting your result. Then I can start analyzing, what is this for me? And then I can go, oh, it's the way I'm holding my body. Oh, it's the way I'm breathing. Oh, it's it's the way, uh, you know, the, uh, it's some of the other thinking that's going on in my head. It's it's where I'm looking. It's, you know, it's all this other stuff. And so that, that starts to, to, to become very important. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. See, I, no, I noticed the gradual progression. I was like, it's kind of hitting me. I was like, oh, okay, I see what he's doing. And then I kind of felt myself, but I'm just staring off into space. And I was like, oh, wow. And then I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to close my eyes. And then 
I kind of laughed on the inside. I'm like, wow, it's almost like I've got Erickson talking to me. This is kind of interesting. Yeah. 